all right everyone um it's good to have you here again this is elizabeth adeyemi if you're online please join me and let's chat this is this evening okay um if you can read the description of this live video it says side hustle to fetch me money as a student instead of selling my precious body if you watched my last video i talked about your body is the temple of the living god aside from being virgin you have to you know be sexually pure you have to be um i mean dedicate yourself to god now this video is specifically addressing you know young girls on campus young girls out there young girls you know we have our struggles in life we are faced with one challenge or the other even as we climb up the ladder of maturity so how do you handle you know financial crisis especially when you have to fend for yourself if you know you don't have support from a tangible support from your parents or you you are being supported by you know maybe your dad or your mom and you need more than they give to you so how do you support yourself financially you know and still remain you know sexually pure you know so that's what we want to talk about this afternoon and i will give you practical experience practical life experience and i also share you know my own life experience with you such that you would relate with me that you are not the only one in this situation you are not the only one you know faced with life problems many people have you know come and gone <laughs> many people are faced with problems only the you know the strong ones scale through there's this particular adage that says um tough times don't last right so tough people do so that's what i want to talk about this afternoon and i hope it, this you know you 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 get blessed and um you get something tangible from this short live video live video all right so um the first thing now is yeah you, you meet yourself on campus and you know you are beautiful you know and all that and you are in the midst of friends they call them you know jay jay friends these are friends that they don't want to ah anything that has to do with work no i want somebody who will be able to take care of me you know spend on me i'm ah, i need to be valued i'm a precious lady ah, ah. anybody that sees me knows that you know don't see person so <laughs> they must spend on me so you want to sell your body to just get money you want to sell your body to see there are many ways of getting money without getting involved in any form of you know ungodly things so the first thing i want to talk about is you have a phone on you right so i i know technology has really really advanced you know compared to it used to be you know some 10 15 years ago you have so many things you know within you know within your grabs you can lay, lay hold on for example you have a phone you know you can go online type on how to make dresses like how to sew if you don't have money to go for is it training like <laughs> they do in lagos now the list you can get you know from a well like if a trained culture someone who is running a culture like a designer the least you can pay is sixty thousand or eighty thousand naira but you can you can as well you know go online half time like one or two hours a day you dedicate to studying how to make dresses online how to design dresses online if you don't have that sixty eighty thousand naira if just about ten thousand naira you can is it ten thousand naira or even less than that just get little fabric and practice on your own what you do consistently excuse me what you do consistently you know you become an expert in that so you can 
keep mastering it day by day until you you become an expert i want to give you an example you know in line with that um there was a time i needed to make a dress for myself i wanted to buy a dress and online and the dress was very expensive i was like ah, i don't have this type of money and i need to wear something you know so i went online i was like how do i make this particular dress and i saw videos upon videos and i you know took time and i watched these videos one by one to my greatest surprise i was able to come up with a beautiful dress you know so that's just it you learn from there you know you become your own master then the second thing um you want to learn is how to write books i love books very very much so if you want to know how to write books you can study online how to write books you know you can start from your own personal experience everyone has one experience or the other you are going through so you can table it down and write something and just sell it online you can create like a um like an account on amazon if you don't have money to publish it you can go on amazon.com register it's free so you publish your book on amazon and um you know you put you you attach a price to read and before you know it you know readers will come online they read your books and you get paid you know there are also you know marketing things you can do online that will fetch you money if you need more information you can just send me you know personal dm so many things you can do now i want to really address the young ladies out there that your body is the temple of the living God. You know, beyond keeping yourself, beyond being a virgin or whatever, what I, you know, um, I'm so much about is sexual purity. Your your body must be pure. Like, you, you don't want to do something that would, you know, that would not please your father. And if you had, you know, fallen into that, let's say, trap out of ignorance or out of desperation out of frustration you can trace your steps back to god god's you know god's aims are wide open to receive you and he loves you so much and he can help you you know erase your past and give you a new beginning there is nothing as sexual purity because when you are pure you know the the lord you know uses a pure vessel bible says in, in the house of god there are not only vessels of honor there are verses of clay, there are verses of gold. You know, you want to purify yourself, you know, to be a vessel of honor. A vessel of honor that would meet, you know, fit the master's use. The Lord has a particular purpose why you were born on earth, why you were sent to this world. So you wouldn't want anything to jeopardize that purpose. So you have to trace your step back to God so you can align with him in such a way that he will be able to use you for his glory. God wants to use you. God wants to make you his mouthpiece, you know, to the world. And he needs you to prepare your heart. He needs you to, you know, give your totality to him such that he will be able to use you now i want to encourage someone out there with my own life experience uh, irrespective of what you are going through on campus just know that many ladies have been through it you know there is no beautiful lady that has not been tempted tempted to go you know the other way tempted to be forced or lured to bed but the approach you have to life matters a lot when you are confronted by one problem or the other the approach you give to it, you know, goes a long way, whether you would be defeated or you become victorious. So I will share this um, simple, uh, like a life experience with you, and I hope it will really bless you. All right. Um, in my 200 level, I gained an admission, you know, is a scholarship. Yes, I was already a student on campus. And then I was having this financial struggle. I was getting little or nothing from home. And, you know, I had... A lot of academic um, work to meet up with you know campus day-to-day um, -day activities and all that but at the same time I needed money for upkeep and all that I needed money for feeding you know students their needs are you know <laughs> their needs are so so great they don't <laughs> you don't meet their needs so I needed a lot of I needed money to you know do a lot of things I wasn't getting much from home and 
I think in my 200 level, I applied for one scholarship through the help of um, a teacher of mine in my secondary school who got to know about the scholarship and informed him now bless me be you know will be like interested in this scholarship and when I applied for that scholarship you know I merited I was yeah I merited it and I was among those you know um, who qualified for the scholarship the scholarship covered for just I mean my school fee and just little stipend per semester just little stipend if i tell you the amount it's so ridiculous the if i that present day i'm talking about around 2011 12 you can hardly afford anything from that stipend but i was grateful to god because among you know the many people that applied for this scholarship i was you know i was favored so if only that could pay my fee and still give me little stipend i was i was happy so i and then a condition was attached to the scholarship and the scholarship was that i will always come the person in charge of the scholarship you know was let's say an aged man i will always come to his house wash clean and everything i was ready to do that because i needed this money you know i was ready to it's, it's not work then if it's work I, I, I was ready to work so long as it will not you know defy me it will not take anything precious away from me so long i can you know work with my hands i was ready to do it so all right i i read the terms and conditions and i was like okay fine something I, I should be able to do so i plugged in and okay my first semester school fee was paid my stipend my is it session per session rather so i was um they paid my session school fee my they were they gave me stipend of about a ten thousand naira per session so and that was how I went to, you know, I started working in the house. I started working, I would clean, I would cut grasses at the back of the house, you know. I would wash, you know, to tell you, <laughs> I was paying dearly for the scholarship. I thought scholarship was free, you know, you get scholarship, but then the condition attached to it. <laughs> But I didn't. I didn't care because I needed this money. I needed to complete my education because the 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 situation I was then in school was very bad. And if that scholarship didn't come, I don't think or I I never I didn't even know if I would have completed my my university degree. So I just opted in and you know I started working and working and working and working and all that. So. Now it got to a time, I think, from my 200 level to my 400 level, you know, the scholarship kept going. And every, I think, every break, yes, because I needed to meet up with academic work in school. So every break, I would go back to the house, clean everywhere, wash, you know, cut grasses, you know, as little as I was, cut grasses with heavy cutlers. And I was having pain tears on my hands but i never cared once i tell my sometimes my brother and i will go he will help me will clean the whole house big house like that will clean our work and work tirelessly sometimes we even trek miles you know from my home because where i lived where we were living then to where i was working was very far very far, far from one city to the other if you know vijabo did very well very very far down to Ilese. so i would walk trek my brother and i we would trek from vijabo down to Ilese to walk because there was no money you know to afford cab but we didn't care because we focused on you know our goal our goal was for me to get paid for me to get my 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 stipend and for me to get my school fees you know paid so it it got to a particular time it so it so it so happened that i think in my 400 level one of the holidays you know and ha huh, i've been you know i came home just like as usual you know and the coordinator of the scholarship was like, okay, I can see you're a young girl, you're a pretty girl, excuse me, you're a pretty girl and all that, you know. How about, ah, he wanted to lure me to bed. Really, this is a life experience, you know. He wanted to lure me to bed. I was like, what is going on? So he was like, hey, if I don't accept, the scholarship has come to an end. I was like, oh, okay, so that's, is that the new condition? <laughs> 
oh my goodness is that a new condition attached to the scholarship that I must give my body to you know to <laughs> to receive my stipend a thousand a ten thousand naira you know um money what of you know cash and let's say my school fee and that was what how much was oh are you paying then it was about you know twelve thousand naira so all together it was never up to thirty thousand naira so because of that i should like give my body my precious body <laughs> the temple of the living god just for a mere you know mere thirty thousand naira even if the money was even fifteen million naira my my like my body I was like, okay, I think I'm done here. Like, seriously, I'm done. So I walked out and I was so angry. I was so annoyed that where on earth can we trust people? What is going on in this perverse generation? You know, you just want to destroy the life of a young, talented lady, you know, an aspiring lady, someone who is working hard, someone who is going through a lot of things, someone who is, you know, I was so genuine. I said everything i was going through i taught you know the the body of the scholarship everything i needed and you could not reason with me just because of this five minutes enjoyment just want to jeopardize my life and i was so mad i was i didn't even i didn't even know i was talking to an old man because he has at that moment he has passed his pantry so i just walked out i was like i don't care if this will be the end of my education if this will be the end of my academic my academics rather let it come to an end i don't care not everybody you know will, will go to school not everybody becomes successful through you know the four walls of a new university you just have to pass through a university for you to be successful how about those who didn't even go to school i was just reading i was really crazy i was in my craziest you know moment i was in my craziest thoughts i was just thinking whatever happens i don't give a damn you know you so you have to get to that point particular time with god because at that time i already had let me say a base in christ jesus i already knew god in my just three and then fine i was not really a strong christian like that when i got to campus in my own level i joined castle oeu christ ambassador student outreach oh that fellowship <laughs> pastor who was my pastor pastor tolumudi yes i respect you sir then pastor kalapo patrick then before pastor dami these people groomed me i joined okay <laughs> before all of that i i i joined you know the is it, um, foundation Bible school and you know there we were groomed I began to see how you can walk in faith I began to see how you can shun evil practices I began to walk with God I began to read the scriptures I began to understand my identity in Christ Jesus I began to realize that no everything can be taken away from me if Jesus is not taken away from me then I think I'm I'm, I'm good to go so I never cared what happened I, I stood on that faith I was like if this is the end of my life, I don't care. I'm not going to, you know, give in to that ungodly act of yours. I'm not going to give in to any, anything that will, that will rob Christ off me. Anything that will, that will, that will, that will, you know, be like a smelling, you know, that will, that will stain me. Yes, exactly. So, I was so bored. <laughs> and he thought he was threatening me. The coordinator thought he was threatening me. And he got, to, he got the shock of his life when I became so bored. I was like, I don't care. Go away with your scholarship. I don't care. I have my life to live in Christ Jesus. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. You know, I can't, I can't begin to stoop so low to your, you know, to your offer just because of a university degree. You know. So you have to get to that situ that that particular, you know, your walk with God, where if everything in this world is taken away from you, so long as Christ is not taken away from you, you are good to go. Money, uh -huh. Bible says, money, though money answers all things, but the root, the love of money is the root of all evil. When you love money too much, you are only attracting evil to yourself. That glorious future God has for you, that beautiful future god has for you you are only destroying it you know one day at a time because you have succumbed to you know evil you have succumbed to something that is not god's will for your life you know and the devil what what the devil sees in you when god when when god has already give giving you a glorious future you know there are so many temptations that will come your way if only you can just remain stand bible says stand firm 
Stand firm. Stand firm with your loins, you know, guarded, you know, with the word of truth, your breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So you have to stand firm. When temptation comes, you will not be shaken. You will not be thrown off, you know, by the wind of affliction. So I, I stood firm. I was like, no, you can take everything you want to take. I could remember that day as I was taking that decision right there do i was bored i was talking i was but within me <laughs> i was like yes it has finished <laughs> the worst has come to the worst has happened it has finished i was crying within me but the blessing the physical blessing was bold the spiritual blessing the, the weak blessing was hanging on god and that's why you have to always hang on god you don't hang on men I think in the book of Psalms 27, is it 27 now? 26? I'm not too sure about the particular, but Psalm 26 or so. It says, the arm of men will fail you, but they that put their trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. The arm of men will fail you. The arm of men will fail you. Is it your uncle has promised you, I will see you through college, I will see you through this, and in the middle of your college, you're almost, you're almost ending your college, and it comes with one proposal, one evil proposal. Is it that you give in or you let go? At that verge of your breakthrough, that is the verge, you know, that time the devil comes in and he wants to shatter your dreams. All you just need to do is just say, no, I'm not going to give in, I'm going to hang on God. You hang on God. You rely on the one who owns tomorrow. The one who knows the future even before, you know, it, it, it comes to, before it, it, it even appears. The one who knows tomorrow, even right from this moment, is the beginning and the end. Is the journey between the beginning and the end. So, if, that, if you cannot hang on God, who knows the beginning? You want to put your life on just a mere man who can sleep and not wake up the next moment. You see? So, at that moment, I was like, okay. I could remember that day I was walking home. I was walking home and I was just singing. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> it is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. In the name of Jesus. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today so where am i driving at that went and and when i slept i got that revelation and the lord said you have to be hard working it pays to work you see labor there is dignity in labor there is dignity in labor and okay i, I remember telling you that this time around i was already in my phone level so this the body already paid my 400 level so i was going to my 500 level because i studied a five-year course i was going to my 500 level and this time i needed to pay my 500 level school fee and a lot of money for projects you know fi final year can be very you know exhausting can be if you will need a lot of money to do one other thing Final year, FYB project, FYB this, FYB that, and all that. And when the whole situation, the whole, you know, saga has ended, and the Lord said, said to me, I could remember that word, work with your hands. I have deposited a lot in you. You just need to, you know, find expression with what I have deposited in you. I could remember the other day, you know, I think two days after, you know, that day, the next day, I came back to OAU. You know, I needed to settle my school fee, but there was no money. Okay, I think we're on break. Yeah, we're on break. Or we're on our final 400 level break, you know, going to 500 level. That was high. And me, mind you, I had learned, I had learned how to bake, how to do snacks in my, 200, in my 300 level. So, um, during, you know, days I didn't go to, um, I don't go to classes. I just do one or two snacks and I sell around, you know, with the hostel. But I didn't even take it seriously. I never knew God was preparing me for <laughs> something, something bigger. 
when I was learning that snack, then when I would just make like one dozen of donuts, you know, <laughs> to sell around. I never knew God was just telling me that you don't oh it's in my you don't know anything. You that you would do twelve dozen, you would do fifteen dozen, you would sell. <laughs> so when this all oh, the scholarship of a thing now came to an end, ah my head just dang out like ah, ah, ah blessing. You you are you are not a lazy girl. Ah, ah you are you know industrious i am industrious so that idea just came as if the holy spirit just brought it back and that strength came and my 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 wonderful verse of the scripture is isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 when i'm sleeping i have it in my head when i'm eating i have it it says they that wait upon the lord they shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. And it's as, it was as if the Holy Spirit inspired strength in me. The Holy Spirit, you know, it was as if something just lifted me up. And I looked at my account that day. I saw, you know, I was just having like about 5,000 naira remaining. I just went to <laughs> OU Market. I bought about two congos of flowers i bought i mean yeah multi-purpose flour i bought um a bottle of granite oil i bought butter i bought sugar i bought egg i bought you know um what's it called vanilla flavor and i came i made donuts <laughs> I told you I was making one do one dozen, two dozens. This time I made five dozens of donuts. And I started hawking. I hawked around my camp, my hostel first. I started with Moremi. You know where you're very well used to do it. Moremi. Even people started giving me names. Blessing the whole donut seller. I don't care. If you like, call me whatsoever. So long as it's fetching money, it's better than me sleeping with someone. <laughs> Destiny destroyer. I run away from them. Run. Run. I never look back. Because they know the glorious future God has for you. So, they are agents of darkness. They want to suck. Suck that glorious destiny away from you. So, run. It might not only be in sex alone. You know, you might be at your place of work. And they, they, they ask you to alter, you know, to, to, to alter accounts. Such that, you know, you'll be able to share, you know, the leftover. A particular amount of money. Run away from people like that. They want to destroy you. Because... Whatsoever it is not given to you genuinely, don't take it. A time is coming where those same set of people, you know, the devil used to, to you know, did it, to do fraudulent acts. And he will still be the same set of people the devil will use to, to lash you, giddy. They will lash you and the career you felt you've been building will just crumble within a day. So it's not only in sexual thing alone. It's in every phase of life. That's why godliness. The Bible says godliness, um, um, contentment with, uh, is it godliness with contentment is great gain. You are godly. You have to be contented with the Lord, what the Lord gives to you. You have to be contented and work harder to achieve. You know, um, work harder to achieve more. You know, in in a godly way, not the way that you you know. That, that cement right. The Bible says the narrow. Narrow is the way that cement right. You know, um, um, the way that cement right to a man is destruction rather. So we have to be very, very careful. You have to be very careful. You know, God has so much deposited a lot to us. And back to my story, I started selling, and within a day, I made a lot of money. I was like, oh, okay. All right, thank you, Jesus, for strength. The next day, I went into another massive production. I think I doubled my production the next day. <laughs> Everything finished. I was like, okay. That was I started gathering money. Hmm. Then I gathered money from the little, you know, profits. I would gather. If I remove the <laughs> expenses of all the expenses of, you know, buying one or two things, the remaining profit, 1,000, 2,000. That's I said, 3,000, 4,000. Ah. And the, the break, the, was it break? Okay, we're still in session. And people, medical students were on campus, and people who didn't go home were on campus, and they were buying. They were buying. They were buying. I was saving. That was I was able to raise my school fee. I was able to raise, you know, some extra change I needed. And during the semester, my 500 level, you know, after classes, 
excuse me, after classes, you know, during the day, in the evening time, straight to market, I will get ingredients, I will prepare, you know, snacks, I will quickly hawk around my hostel, you know, just to get money for me to, you know, buy one or two things, you know, for my day to day, you know, if I need one or two things, you know, for my day to day, you know, meet up of my daily needs, you know, and that was how the Lord settled me. The Lord settled me, and when I graduated, I went to town and started selling, you know, just to get more money to for <laughs> You know, my mom used to say something that if you don't know, if you don't have anyone you're waiting for, you're waiting on, there's no point waiting. If there's no one you're waiting on, there's no point waiting. So you have to, what they say, Mori. I knew there was no body I needed to depend on for financial assistance. So I've started the race since. Since where others were still saying, I'm at Tomo, I'm like, I'm like, there's nothing, I'm waiting for NYSC, I'm waiting for, um, what's it called now? I'm waiting for color paper and everything. Me, I've been selling donuts on campus. <laughs> I've been selling donuts on campus. So, so where am I heading at? There is dignity in labor. So you have no excuse whatsoever to sell your precious body, to go to bed with a man, just for in, in exchange for money. You are no better than a brutal worker. You know, you are no better than, I'm not judging you, but if you have, you know, every opportunity to shun evil, if you have every opportunity to run away from, you know, sexual sin run like like joseph run and never look back because every agent of darkness that you know the devil has used to suck that godly thing away from your life they have nowhere to go they are they have already you know they are there but you that you have somewhere to go god is using you as you know his mouthpiece for the world you know you cannot afford to be sucked that juice that precious anointing yes you know that's why even pastors men of god women of god you have to watch it you know you have to watch it the lord puts you in that particular position for a reason don't allow ungodliness sometimes you know you don't even know sometimes you just embezzle church money you feel ah to be uh, like it is where you walk you eat fine it is where you walk you eat but have you forgotten that this is the the money of the people even if you want to you know take something you are accountable you should be accountable to the people so it's it's it cut across every phase of life so godliness must be seen in our churches today godliness must be seen in the lives of every individual who claim to know god who claim to know jesus see jesus is not by professing him i love jesus jesus is about acting it out trusting the holy spirit to help you live the sinful world this perverse you know world in a way that please him with our strength we can't please god that's why I started that day that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. You have to keep waiting on God. You have to keep trusting God for strength to run away, to shun evil, to, you know, do things in accordance to the will of God. So I want to encourage you young girls out there. There is no reason. There is no reason whatsoever i would say it's because hey ah i was in my final year there's no money that was why when this brother now said hey let him do this and i just succumb ha ah, that brother you better run away from that brother that brother is a is a life destroyer life destroyer it's like you know when you put straw in bottle bottle of coke hey, hey. the brother is the straw your, you, you are the content, the precious content. You have that content that needs to be preserved. That needs to, you know, to be preserved. And that content is just there. And this brother, destiny destroyer, destiny shatterer, is putting the straw and he's sucking. And... When he suck all the coke inside, what happens? He leaves the bottle empty. He moves to the next bottle. He needs to the next person. So what happened? The coke is empty. The bottle is empty. It's as good as nothing will be thrown to to the trash so please 
please there are a lot of things you can do a lot of things you can do to fetch you money in fact this generation is blessed this generation is so blessed god bless google for us god bless social some social platform where you see people putting their you know their business online you know putting their businesses online to get awareness to create customers and so that people would you know patronize them you can do the same you can do the same don't just fold your hands and and wallow in pity wallow in 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 in, in excuses you know you, you know you don't do this that's why no there is no excuse for acting on god ungodly there's no excuse and if you have gone the wrong way that's why i always i always say that if you didn't know this before out of ignorance out of frustration you have done the unimaginable you have done you know see it, this is the time to come back home this is time to come back to jesus and retrace your step back to him his aims are wide open he will always receive you and he will make you white as snow and he will fill you with wisdom he will fill you with understanding to live your life according to his will that business idea that business mindset that bus he will give it to you and you will see your life you know you you'll be self you know is it independent yes you need to be independent of yourself. You don't have to, you know, lay, rely on a man. A man has to give you money before you can you can feed. A man has to give you money before. No, you have to value yourself. Like I said, every lady, you know, has to value herself. Even a guy, a guy, you don't have to do the unimaginable. You know, steal. You know, go go around rob people. You know, they they had any money just because you want to pay your school. You went to rob for what? For what? Hey. You went and locked by Nicole, you went to, you know, cause someone pain. The person has gathered his money, gathered his money, just went and stole. Because what? Where well, you can walk, you can walk, you can walk in, you know, brick lane, um, what was it called? I know of a lecturer. In fact, the man is, you know, phenomenal in bring up, you know, in bringing me up to this level now. The person of, you know, I don't want to mention his name, is a very fundamental man. When, when, when I hear him speak, the way he lived his life, he was one, he was once, you know, working in the sawmill at, let's say, in Japu Ode. After school, he would go to the sawmill to, you know, cut timber, to, you know, gather some sawdust for sale. And that was how he raised, you know, money to help himself he's a he's, he's a lawyer right now he's a medical lawyer so whatsoever you do to achieve success no it's not written on your face so long as it is godly so long as it's is it something you know that will not take your your your, your the, 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 the 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 glory of god and hey that will not take the glory of god from you it is acceptable you can work with your hands god has given you hands god has given you understanding has given you wisdom to just think about something and you know he said it will bless the work of your hands it will bless the work of your hands so what's that thing you are doing with your hands is it just to press phone you're pressing for 24 7 you are you are doing snapchat you are checking it you are, at the end of the day you say you, you need money eh you are there TikToking, dancing. Well, all of that fetch you money. If it can fetch you money, no problem. So long as you don't do anything that is, you know, uncalled for. So this is a cry out to girls out there, to boys, young boys, you know. You know, you, you, there are a lot of things you can do that will fetch you money rather than doing things ungodly. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I, I long to see us succeed. I love to see us, you know. Tell our stories, just like I told my stories, to people to encourage them out there, to make them understand that in the kingdom of God, godliness is possible. All right. <laughs> I remain my humble self, Elizabeth Adeyemi. Like I will always say, you can follow me on this page, Elizabeth Adeyemi. You can also comment if you have any comments, you know, based on what we just talked about, you can drop it in the comment section all right um you can search for me on youtube you know fortune tv like my post subscribe after this video i'm gonna upload it on youtube so you know so that my youtube um followers can also you know listen to it and share with someone going through one or two things you know to encourage them that many ladies ladies have been through it don't think you're the only one going through one problem or the other many people have gone through it and many people have scaled through many people have have become successful because they didn't give in to ungodliness so you as well can also scale through you can also you know be successful you can always you can also be successful success is is achieving you know 
your God given uh, your God given dreams. That's it. If okay, let's not talk about I think we'll do another video and we'll talk about success. There are many ways you can see success, but so long as you know you are you are treading on the path of righteousness, you know, treading, moving, just do what God tells you to do. You are so sitting already. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. All right. I remember my humble self. Okay, I think I've said that. All right. See you next time on this page on YouTube. All right. I love you. And be blessed. Bye.